So overall... Don't mark it, would you believe? <laughs> So you're looking for a pair of shorts, or a pair of wicked trendy trainers, or even some cool fabrics. Tell you what's the fan here at Eastville Market, we're going to check things out, so why don't you just follow me now. Never been to Eastville Market before. Can you tell us a few things about like the past and what's gone yeah, on here? Um, Eastville was established about 25 years ago um, by a company called Grayson's. The stadium company actually took over about 15 years ago, and we've been running it ever since then. Um, it's quite a large open air market, and I believe it's the only one in the Bristol area on Friday. Right. What's what can you buy here? You know, what can you buy anything here? Or? Most, anything, most anything, really. I mean, Fridays are primarily food markets, really. We've got three butchers for trade today, three um, green grocers, fish stall, uh, the wet fish, that is, um, and generally clothes, material. We're well known as a material market, apparently. What do you feel like this out of town sort of stores and discounts and, you know, because people can go out and get free parking and stuff, do you think that's hindered Eastville Market at it's all? It's definitely hit us. I think it's hit market trade generally over the last few years. You know, it's not just the recession, it is the out of town, and especially Sunday trading. With the shops being able to open on a Sunday, it's definitely hit us. Because I remember coming in as a kid with my mum, you know, to get a pair of stretch jeans, and, the, and it was just like heaving, you know, and the market was really big, but now it seems That's to be getting a little bit smaller and yes, it's a bit yes, frightening it for you. It is reducing, yes, definitely. But, I mean, obviously, we'll try all the time to get more and more traders and, and more, you know, try and get a, a vast array of different goods to sell. <laughs> Finally, um, do you know where I can get a cheap pair of jeans, though? Like, a decent pair, you know what I mean? I don't want them to fall apart, like, no, overnight. No, no, they won't fall apart. And anyway, if they did, you just bring them back to us. It's got all goods are guaranteed. So, you know, but basically, you just walk down there, and you'll see the big jeans stall at the end. Brilliant. Thanks for okay, talking to me. No Thank you. OK. Morning. Hello. Good morning. How are you? You all right? No, not so bad. Not bad at all. Brilliant. So, uh, how long have you been part of Eastfall Market and the setup? Uh, probably 12 years. Do you, do you know your customers? Like, do the same people come every week and stuff like that? You know, like, turn up, I'll have a half a pound of golden peanuts and, you know. We, we have our usual customers, you know, that come to us every week. And I really know uh, all of them, in a way. You know all of them. So, uh, how long have you been coming to Eastville Market? Eastville Market. I've been working in Eastville Market now for... 19 years. 19 years? That's like, I was seven when you first started here. Yeah. Probably a long time. I've watched the kids grow and get married themselves now. So what be your sales pitch? So I'm coming down here with me kids now. I want to buy some children's clothes. What's your pitch? Are you going to sell me? Basically the same as it's always been. <laughs> you offer them the best value going and leave the rest to them. Quality. At the end of the day, it's quality, isn't it? Basically. Boils down, boils down to quality. That's exactly right. Morning. You all right? How long have you been coming to the Eastville Market then? Very long? No. Was it your first time down there, is it? No, when that's you the children. Like, you are? About three years ago, isn't that? Three years. So you know all about Eastville Market then, like being a Bristolian and stuff. Yeah. So do you think you get a good value for your money down here? Um, no, much down here today, actually, no. It's quite quiet, isn't it? It's got a bit smaller. Do you think that's due to like, the big stores out of town and stuff like that? Yeah, probably, yeah. You've been probably. coming to the Eastville Market very long? Ever since it opened. Have you? How many years ago is that? Oh, I don't know how many years ago. Oh, he's 20, at least 25 years. But, Bob, I never had opened, you So you know a bargain when you see one oh, down yes. at Eastville, isn't it? And, and, and the stall holders are all lovely. They always get a sweet. My daughter's on holiday, you see. And she said, Mum, don't forget to buy the sweets and give them yeah. a sweet. Our special stall holders, you know. Oh, and they look forward to it. Well, they look, but they look forward to you coming as well, don't they? Well, well I look forward to it. What a lovely woman she is, isn't she? <laughs> got any bargains today? What you bought? Just a few. I've bought some... Marks and Spencer's cake. Oh. Yeah. And um, some neck curtain. And some chocolate. Brilliant. Can you give me any advice on what to get? It's cheap, like, you know, you good, good bargains. You've got to get up out of it, haven't you, really? Look for it, yes. Look for it, and it's there. Brilliant. Yeah. Come to the end of our day here at Eastwell Market with Telly West. We talk to Leslie. Talk to the storeholders, we even talk to the customers, we talk to everyone. Now we're going to do some serious shopping, so you better come follow me. What a 
I'm saying East for Market is a brilliant day out. Fridays and Sundays, I'll tell you what, it's been the best out for ages. Shopping, talking to people, people are brilliant down here. I love it. Right, <laughs> what's that? I'm right, that's East for Market. Get yourself on down there for some great bargains. <laughs> Hello?